It's been really exciting to see, uh, the, first of all, the different kinds of music people are writing around Britain, which uh, I guess was kind of the point, but it was, it was really exciting to see it actually uh, being played and one after the other and to see the diversity of styles, but also to see the different ways people approach uh, writing for, work, uh, for a workshop, uh, whether bringing in a complete piece or, or something that's very kind of closer to just simple ideas and sketches, which is, I guess, what I have done. The piece I'm writing is for Tube and Electronics. It's a kind of a combination that I'd never have imagined of uh, writing for before. And so uh, the piece was really inspired from, first of all, a fear of writing for solo instruments, uh, of, of creating kind of really exciting music f with just one person, but also the excitement of, of having uh, the entirety of, of the music presented through, through a soloist. And so the piece really comes out of um, uh, the idea of having one person presenting the entire story. Uh, of course, for, for me as a composer, I know what the piece sounds like, um, and maybe the performers who perform might know what it sounds like, but if the rest of the world doesn't really hear it, uh, then, uh, then a recording is, is really actually a valuable way of disseminating music. Uh, a piece quite often doesn't really exist until it's been recorded. Uh, even performances that are, are not recorded are hard to really, um, to really use. Uh, it, it definitely is an advantage of having a label behind it simply because it, it uh, increases the amount of people who might be able to hear the piece and to uh, to get get to know the music so um, b between sort of private releasing something privately independently and having uh, the support of, of a label it's really nice to have a label that's committed to working with composers at, at a at a level still in sort of education <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.